Hey guys, it's Cyclone here, and I'm coming back with some more Dokkan Battle. This is just going to be a random video, um, talking about some updates in the gaming landscape, I guess you could call it. Um, wait, is the Beerus event is gone. I just realized the Beerus event is long gone. That sucks. I liked that event. Um, let's take on this stupid Goku. Um... So yeah, I want to talk about um, Borderlands 3, actually. So I thought I would do that while just chilling with some Dokkan in the background uh, because I am enjoying Dokkan and getting ready for the anniversary. Um, so that is very intriguing. Now, I got another improvement for my Realm of Gods team. I got uh, Gowasu who is a defensive uh, support monster. So he's really good for adding more defense to the team. Um, oh, I almost messed that up. Uh, that wouldn't have been good. I won all those golds. Thank you. All right, let's go. So anyway, Borderlands 3, guys. Uh, phew, what a horribly managed game, I have to say. Uh, it's really a disaster how this game has aged so poorly. And... It's stuff that could have been so easily avoided, too. You know, this isn't like, oh, Gearbox got some bad luck and something bad happened. No, Gearbox is choosing to do the stupidest stuff, man. And he didn't dodge there. It's crazy. I mean, what is, what is Gearbox doing? Like, releasing all this broken stuff. And then I've seen, like... Randy Pitchard saying, well, yeah, it's free content, so you shouldn't, like, you, you want it out fast, right? And everyone's like, no, I want it out working, you know? The problem is they release stuff, and then it doesn't work for release. And then, you know, they have to hotfix crap, and then they have to do balance changes constantly instead of making some really great new content, right? Which is what you should be doing in a game like this. You should be incentivizing all the players to get hype for it because you're releasing new stuff. And yet, that's not what happens here in uh, Borderlands 3. So, it's just a real pain, guys. I can't wait for the equipment. I would love to give this guy uh, some additional attack. And maybe some dodge, if that's possible. Um, I only have one dupe in him, though. So... You know, this new DLC 3 is coming out. I don't think I'm playing it, guys. And Mayhem 2.0 is a disaster. They're adding more levels. Why would you play it if it's going to be nerfed, etc., etc.? You kind of know the drill by this point. Um, this actually was a really bad rotation because I don't... The, the fact that the Zamasus are split up is really annoying. Um, I guess we'll just do this. I, I mean, actually, no. We're going to do this. I'm going to put the... Yep, I'm going to put them on rotation, actually. Yeah, that's just how it is, huh? That's just how it's gonna be. Alright. So, I don't have any interest right now to play Borderlands 3 because they're adding the level caps way too quickly and in too little of an amount. The biggest issue I have is they still haven't introduced a new skill tree yet. We're like nine months into the game, guys. And we don't have the, the four skill trees yet. I mean, where are the skill trees? If you're not gonna release a character then damn it, you need to release the damn skill trees. And they're not doing it. Oh, because it's free, they get a pass on making content that's worthwhile. Get out of here, dude. That never used to be an excuse. When I was growing up with games, they gave us good content at release because they wanted to make it seem good. And the fact of the matter is they still haven't given us good gameplay updates yet. I just see... A really poorly managed project in, my, in front of me. And it really hurts. Because I loved Borderlands, guys. I played the hell out of the first two Borderlands games. The hell out of it. Look at that. He takes 48,000. You know, this guy, I love that guy. So, again, not a fan of how Borderlands is treating its game. How Gearbox is deciding to go. Just not good. Just not good. Um, I guess here... Oh, yeah, what am I doing? I'm going to do this. I'm also getting fairly shafted on the key. Uh, it's 
not a big deal, but it's just, you know, annoying. It's just annoying. Dude, my Goku isn't dodging shit. <laughs> What's going on here? Am I missing something? Like, is this Goku auto lock? <laughs> Wait a minute. I I'm, I'm lost. Does this Goku not allow dodging? I think he does. You can dodge this Goku. <laughs> I haven't played this event in a long time. I just actually... They're, no, there's dodging. You just—they're not dodging. <laughs> okay, we just, like dodged a couple times. So, um, yeah. So I'm not—I'm not thrilled, guys. I'm really not happy about where the game is going. That's why you don't see me playing it. And I, I'm sorry for those of you who used to like my videos in Borderlands Three. I wish I liked it more, and I wish I could be satisfied playing it, and, if, and not feel like my time was just being wasted. So that's the problem. That's what I feel like right now with Borderlands Three. It's just not sufficiently using my time. Like, if I put time into it, it's not going to reward me. That's not going to re reward you. So why would I show videos of a game that's not going to reward the player base, right? It's really not rewarding. In my opinion. Give me the fourth skill tree. Give me a complete overhaul on balance. And stop with these level cap increases that ruin everything. It's stupid. Have I made my point clear enough? I think I did. Um, so, uh, wait a minute. No, I want to capitalize on that. No. No. There we go. That's fine. So, that's my sentiment. There it is. You just heard my sentiment. It's exactly that. Uh, I'm just not. I'm just not happy about it right now. That's all I can say. Now, meanwhile, Dokkan, much more optimistic gaming news because we have the anniversary coming up. So you guys, you will see a summoning video from me. I'm going for both banners, but I'm starting with Vegito because Vegito, in my opinion, A, it's better value at least as long as it stays the same as the Japanese banner. But then Vegito himself as a unit, to me, uh, with that Potara category, I'm just more... Uh, interested in getting a Potara unit right now. I have a lot of I have a lot of Potara units that could use some significant help. So uh, he would be a great candidate uh, for that position. And that's why I'm doing that. So um, yeah, I cannot wait to summon for you guys on camera. And I'm going to go ape if I, if I pull him. <laughs> you, you will see me run down the damn street <laughs> if I pull one of those fusions. Trust me. <laughs> I will not be sitting down for long. And I screwed up. I wasn't watching the Dokkan meter. Oh, well. It's not like this is a hard event or anything. It's, it's not a big deal. Yeah, so you, why is the anniversary so great for Dokkan? A lot of value, a lot of good units on the banner, and a lot of free summons that you can do. We also have ticket summons out the ass, and we have Dragonstones galore. At least we should. Um, I did get Gowasu on a discount banner. I just had to summon for him because, and I got one copy. I was really lucky. I uh, wasn't guaranteed, of course, but it's great that I got him because he's a great support unit for this team right here, which I just absolutely love running. I love this Realm of Gods team. So what can I say? I found a team that I really enjoy using, and I like to use it, so I do. <laughs> I mean, this team right here basically um, fodderizes all the, the normal Dokkan events, like these metal farming events. Fodderizes them. Fodderizes. Um, it actually, I actually am beating the Dragon Ball Infinite History with this team uh, with item help. Yes, I will admit, but I am beating it. And before, I couldn't do it with other teams. So, and I've gotten to Ultra Instinct Goku on the Legendary Goku event with items, of course. Because again, guys, if you're not a whale and a veteran player, you're not going to beat these events, especially not without items. Um, you have to use items to even stand a chance. And then 
you really do need rainbows on these guys because that just makes their stats so much better. You get more HP, more defense. That's really what matters more than the attack. You want that HP and defense to absorb those massive super attacks they throw at you. So maybe you can survive one or two more rounds of supering so that you can get more damage in. That's, that's kind of why rainbows are mandatory in those modes. Look, the game is designed for you to spend money. So don't feel bad if you can't beat these events because you're not spending as much money as a whale. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, anyway, uh, I guess that's going to be the video. I just went rambling about Borderlands 3, kind of a game that I've lost interest in, and now Dokkan coming up on the anniversary, which is going to be amazing, and I can't wait to play it. So there's two ends of the spectrum. You will be seeing me summon on the anniversary, but I am not summoning on camera until then. And I'm sorry that I'm not willing to wail out more, but come on, guys. It's the anniversary. I actually have many more free-to-play stones that I haven't gotten from different single-player events, campaign, um, quest mode, etc. So I've been saving those up for this reason. Um, I was over 400, but I got Gawasu, so now I have to re go back up. I do have a daily counter going, so... Um, by the time you see me at the anniversary, I should, I should be around 500. Plus, if I, I'm going to purchase something, yeah, I'm going to purchase some stones, of course. I'm willing to do it because the value is good. So anyway, that's the video for today. Um, hope you guys had a uh, good time. It's not really a great video, but it's a video nonetheless. <laughs> Uh, take care, guys. Uh, I will see you on the next video.